Do you ever have the thought of something that you want to eat, uh, that you want to cook, but you know that it's frozen solid and you don't want to wait <laughs> in order to thaw it? You pretty much just want to be able to prepare it now. That's what I'm looking at. I want shrimp for lunch and I have shrimp, but as you can see, it's in my freezer and it is frozen solid. So I'm going to cook this in my instant pot from frozen because why not? I'd like to make this as flavorful as possible, but admittedly, I have not been to the store in a little while, so I'm kind of running low on fresh ingredients here, but let me see what I have. I have some, I have some green onions. Okay, the, this part, the bulb part looks good. This part, not so much. That's definitely seen better days. But I can cut off the green. Oh, well, I guess I will use however much garlic this is. Those are lemons that have been de-zested, if you will. But honestly, if I was out of lemon, if I didn't have any fresh lemon, which I oftentimes do not, I would just use this. Now, let me see what spices I have on hand. This is Old Bay. I use this pretty much for all of my seafood, and it's it has a lot of salt in it. It says celery salt is the first ingredient, but then, which is salt and celery seed. So I don't think I need salt, any extra salt, but I'm gonna use Old Bay, some pepper, even though I have a bit of onion and a bit of garlic, I will add a bit more for flavor. Ooh, I could make it, yeah, I could make it kind of spicy. might put some parsley flakes for garnish. Let me preface this by saying that almost everything here is optional. I'm adding all these ingredients because I'm gonna make a very, very simple um, sauce for my shrimp, but it is not necessary, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to make your shrimp super flavorful in a short amount of time. I'm gonna show you how to make a sauce, which will make it even more flavorful. But also, I'll show you how to just cook the shrimp. If all you're trying to do is just get some shrimp cooked really fast in the Instant Pot. I'm not doing a bunch of chopping or dicing or slicing. Actually, I'm not doing that at all. I'm actually just going to cut off that part. And I'm just going to slice these down the middle. Because basically, I'm just going to use these to flavor. And it's the same thing with my garlic. I'm just gonna break it apart. Whatever's left here, this is what we're gonna work with. I just want to crush this a bit. My lemon looks pretty sad, but it'll be fine. It's just for flavor, not for looks. Let me add my ring to my Instant Pot, which sometimes I forget to do. <laughs> but yeah, I like to show you, just as a reminder, I got my shrimp. Can you hear that? It's like frozen solid. This bag, let's see, this says this was a two pound bag, and I've used approximately half of it. See that? On a previous dish. We're looking at uh, approximately one pound of large raw shrimp, peeled, deveined, tail off. I don't know how many are in here, but this is what we're working with. And I'm just gonna toss in the onion and the garlic. Trust me, it'll all work out in the end. This lemon, we'll just squeeze that in there for flavor. I'm also gonna add roughly roughly two tablespoons of butter. This is salted, unsalted butter. As you can see, I did go ahead and chop up the butter. I'm not sure if it really matters or not. And then as far as seasonings go, dried seasonings, gonna do a bit of pepper. I don't know how much that is. I'm just gonna shake it in, I don't know, till it looks like enough. Now, this, uh, what's left of this, once it cooks the sauce, I'm gonna taste it 
before completing the sauce. So I can always add more of ingredients if I need to. I have an eight quart instant pot, so I'm going to use a cup and a half of water. Now this part's very important so that your shrimp does not dry out, but is tasty and delicious. Choose manual on your pressure cooker and you want it set to zero. You know how you can pick whatever amount of time you want. You can also go all the way down to a zero setting and mine is on high pressure and that's it, zero. So that our shrimp turns out the way that we want it to. While that's cooking, I don't want to leave the kitchen because um, that's going to be done very quickly. But I'm going to go ahead and finish working on what I need to make my sauce. Okay, so I'm just going to take my cornstarch and I just need about a tablespoon. To that, I'm going to add roughly a tablespoon of water. Just trying to make a slurry here so that I'll be able to thicken up, thicken up my sauce. I don't know what kind of sauce it is. I guess it has garlic in it and onion, maybe it'll, and butter. Maybe it's like a garlic butter sauce. But get that mixed in really well. See that? We're almost there. Oh. That was it. And once that happens, it's probably going to be about a minute or so. And this will start beeping that it's done. There we go. Once we hear that, we don't want to dally because our shrimp is cooked. So let's go ahead and release the pressure. That's it. The pin dropped. It smells like shrimp in here. It smells very good, actually. Shrimp only has to be to 145 degrees in order to be cooked thoroughly. So let's see what we've got here. Oh my gosh, that's definitely cooked all the way through. And see that onion and also the garlic? I'm gonna end up taking that out. I'm just searching for any onion that's left, onion peel or garlic. I also found a, found a lemon seed. Now that that's done cooking, you want to change your, you want to turn off your pressure cooker that way and you want to turn on saute. And this is how we're going to thicken up our sauce. But let me give that a quick taste. It tastes like shrimp <laughs> and a little bit like Old Bay seasoning. But other than that, I feel this getting hotter. I set it to saute and the sauce is already heating up. Now that is good. What we're gonna do is wait for this to start uh, simmering. That literally didn't even take two minutes while I was picking out my uh, garlic out of my shrimp that happened. So I'm gonna go ahead and add, this is the slurry, the cornstarch slurry. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the saute and then I'm gonna add the shrimp back in just to coat. Let me cut into this so we can see what it looks like. First of all, as you can see, it's not shriveled up at all. Let's coat it really nicely with the sauce. And look at that. Looks great. Mmm. That is good. I don't normally taste my food, but I love shrimp. That turned out very well. Give it a try and let me know what you think. And make sure to subscribe to A Great Cooker for more Instant Pot videos.